Alright, so I just wanted to spend this video today kind of talking about stuff because it seems like this is kind of an epidemic going on where higher ranks in PF are switching to cheating. And this is something that I just want to bring up and talk to you guys about and just kind of think about because my friend Sparrows has been doing videos on this and he's making series about this and they are unlisted videos right now for some reason. However, I do have his permission to show these and something that I just want to show is he's going around trying to find high rank cheaters. Now, it seems like more and more frequently high ranks are cheating and I'm not talking like super high ranks. Like some of them are like 150, 200 plus, but a lot of times it's like, you know, accounts rank like 70 plus or something like that where it's not just an alt account. You know, they put some time into it and they're actually playing and basically, you know, a lot of things are kind of hard to patch. This isn't me ripping on Stylus because patching ESPs is a pain. They're working with Roblox's engine and they're doing their best and they're banning people and blah blah blah. But it, it's not here to rip on them, I just want to talk about it in general. So uh, the first clip I'm going to show is a rank like 74 that Sparrows found that decided to start rage ESPing because, well he was ESPing in general but kind of rage hacking because Spirals was beating him. and. I, I want to just show the clip here and you'll see, Sparrows is sitting in this spot for a long time, does not move, doesn't shoot, never seen, and the guy just randomly sprays him through the wall, like it's blatant ESP. And from what Spirals has gathered recently, it seems that at least one in every three games there's a cheater in it. And it's not something that you really notice, we're not talking usual like fly hackers, aimbotters, people just ESPing. Now it seems like ESP is a lot harder to get banned for, and I don't know the exact reasons for it behind it. But a lot of people are switching to ESPing nowadays and it's kinda sad. It happens really frequently and the thing is we don't really notice it. And the one reason that Spirals kinda said to me and it makes sense to me in all honesty is that we don't ever realize that people are ESPing because when people ESP they can see you through walls, right? Like your body gets highlighted through a wall, like there's a red dot above you, something like that. And they can see where you're at exactly when you're gonna be there, they can pre-fire and everything, but if you're a better player than them, you won't notice it because they're not going to be killing you constantly. And this isn't like you're, you're like trying to brag or anything, it's just being honest. If you're a better player than them, even with cheats, they still fail to kill you a lot of the times. So when you're sitting there trying to find people cheating, it's harder because, you know, they're not doing crazy things that instantly stick out. You know, they might eventually get that suspicious kill that makes you really think about it. But most of the time, it's just them playing and they're just not that good of a player, so they're cheating. And... It's only some people are super obvious right off the start, you kind of have to dig for some of them. But yeah, if you're a better player than them, you're able to kill them, you'll beat them even if they are cheating because they just have, like, they know where you're at, doesn't mean they're good at the game. And that's something that kind of is weird to me because with cheaters being so frequent now, it's... Hacking has been, well, exploiting has been so much more popular and like roblox now than it ever has been it's growing constantly and people are constantly making exploits for games and it's hard to patch them all so seeing new people cheat really doesn't surprise me but seeing how frequent it really is now seeing people who cheat on their main account as well and try to get away with it and pretend like they're not like the guy ghost got banned and this is his third ban and he's still trying to argue that he only used esp like once which obviously isn't true because he's been banned repeatedly and I don't really like Stylus' system with unbans. Personally, I think that if you're banned once and you want to appeal, sure. Second time, you should have to wait at least a few months in my opinion to appeal. But if you get banned three times, you should just be permanently banned. It should be over from there. I don't see the reason for anyone to keep getting so many chances. Even on a second chance, kind of think they should be permanent banned. Like, if you get one extra chance and you cheat again, you obviously haven't had a change in behavior and you don't care, so why allow them to keep playing your game? I, I truthfully don't agree with it. That's the one thing I will kind of comment on is that unbanning cheaters doesn't really solve anything. Like sure, some people cheated and they regret and they want to just play normal. Now sure, it does happen, but it's not that often. And with some people who are cheating repeatedly, if they just keep getting unbanned, then they won't care. They'll keep cheating on their main accounts and it doesn't really matter. Like sure, people might watch them a bit more closely or anything like that, but there's not enough staff around and they're not active enough to go watch someone constantly. It really does come down to reports and if you guys do want to report people, you have to go into the stylist discord, read the hashtag game support, you DM the bot and that's how you report it. You need video evidence 99% of the time. But it's truthfully something that's kind of wild that there's so many more cheaters now and most of them are just cheating on their main accounts and they don't care and I really wish there was a way for them to patch all these exploits but I also understand that it's extremely hard and the exploits are constantly you know developing and going past their patches and things like that but seeing how many people are doing this like there's been multiple accounts over rank 200 who have been banned for cheating what does that kind of say to people like 
people just don't care anymore and they start cheating or maybe they've been cheating the entire time who knows if there's an esp that they found and they can't kind of figure out why or like how to patch it properly or it's just one of those good esps made that isn't leaked publicly and it's kept amongst a certain group of people that won't be patched for a very long time people could cheat for weeks months at a time like there's no telling how long certain people could be cheating before they get caught and for a lot of people it's obvious like if you know people in the community and they randomly get insanely good it's obvious right but at the same time a lot of people don't realize how much esps are really going on i really don't agree with a lot of it right now i don't know man i don't see the point in starting to esp especially when you're on like a high rank account and trying to hide it like that's so scummy people who get banned for esp and try to argue it constantly and try to say like oh i only did it this time doesn't make it any better if you're banned you're banned if you cheated you cheated but I don't know man it's kind of just something i wanted to bring up because cheating nowadays is becoming so rampant and you really can't trust a lot of people even in the competitive community 99 percent of people who come into the competitive community and are really good off the start are usually cheating there's very few people that you will not see like a gradual increase in even when i first started playing pf i was not that great like i was good in public matches but when i played against good players i did not do that well i got destroyed early on I could hold my own for the most part, like I usually could go at least neutral, like maybe a 1kd. I went negative a few times, but I was far from, you know, anywhere near as good as I am today or anywhere as near as I was, like as good as I was in my prime. And it's something that you really just kind of got to look at and see. If people come into the game and they are instantly amazing, in public matches, it could be understandable because public matches are a lot easier than things like competitive. But if people come into competitive and they're insanely good right away, from what we have seen, 99% of the time, they end up cheating. And that's just the way it is. There's almost no such thing as someone who comes into this game and is insanely good. It's just, PF is one of those games that it's not just an aim game. There's a lot of movement things. There's learning the maps you have to do. There's learning certain tactics. There's certain kind of choke points you have to learn. There's a lot of learning curve to it that you won't understand initially. You won't be able to pull off right when you start playing the game. But yet a lot of people seem to, and then a lot of them end up cheating. It's kind of worrisome of how many over rank 100 accounts are being banned nowadays for cheating. And that's kind of my main like rant about this is that there's, I don't know, I, I've seen personally three or four, no, probably like five or six rank 200 pluses accounts that have been banned for cheating. And some of them just don't care. Some people like they did it one time, like they got unbanned and they haven't cheated since, but there's in my opinion anyone who's over rank like 70 has put some time into their account right like if you were a good player and you grinded 10 hours a day like 10 15 hours a day you can go rank 0 to 100 in a week but most people don't do that most people you know go rank 70 over like a month or something maybe two months or however often they play and then just to cheat on the account and get banned but then stylus unbans them and it's just a slap on the wrist and they can do whatever they want Truthfully, I would like to see them start permanent banning accounts and not giving any chance of appeals because people obviously aren't learning, nothing's changing, and more and more people are going to start cheating when they know and they see firsthand that they can cheat as much as they want and they won't be permanently banned. They can always appeal out or their account will be banned within some amount of time anyways. Kind of just like a short rant thing, I guess, but it's kind of bothering me, man. Seeing how much cheaters that Spirals is running into and how many of them are so blatant and how many of them can go so long without being banned is pretty just concerning, I guess. I really would like to see if there maybe could be improvements in anti-cheat in the future. I'm sure they're doing their best they can. And like I said, this isn't a rip on Stylus other than like the, an the unbanning situation. The anti-cheat itself, I understand that it's a lot more difficult than just writing one line of code and that's it you have to find the cheat you have to you know look into them see why they're working what they're working around and try to patch that and you also got to understand that stylus is working with roblox's engine not their own so they have limitations on what they can do not ripping on them i just think that people are, are constantly cheating now and not constantly but a lot more than usual and a lot more higher ranks are doing it because they see they can get away with it especially since there are free cheats out there and you can bypass the anti-cheat with free cheats it's pretty easy to get cheats nowadays in all honesty from what people are doing and you don't even have to pay for them that much anymore free ones will come out eventually and they'll work for a little they get patched but nonetheless they're still out there kind of just wanted to get that off my chest and rant a little bit i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next one peace